Let's play Mousetrap by Exidy. Exidy, what a name. That is a play on the words excellent and dynamics. This company founded in 1973, but this video game was built and thrown out into the world in 1981. This game that you're looking at, this cabinet with the big fat cat on top, is a maze game. If you look at this straight on photo, this is a good one here, you can see the three buttons. There's a red and yellow, and there should be a blue one next to it. It looks black in this case. And one big button there, that's gonna change you into a dog. Yeah, just go with this for a minute. It's gonna change you into a dog. There's cats all over the maze. Cats wanna eat a mouse, but when you hit the dog button, you turn into a dog. Yeah, right. So um, I played this game as a kid, seen it out in the wild, and I loved it. I loved it. I, f I just was enamored by the sound of the game. It was somewhat colorful. It wasn't Pac-Man. It wasn't as dense. It was a little more open. Um, but there was something really neat about the three buttons, the three buttons that change and open three doors or close three doors. You have a lot more skill required, in my opinion, to play this game. So I didn't see it as another Pac-Man. But apparently in the annuals of history, according to Wikipedia, the reason why it didn't do really good is because people saw it as just another Pac-Man game. I totally disagree. I mean, people who were playing in arcades did not see this, I don't think, as another Pac-Man game. Where's the power pellets in this game? Well, you'll see there are kind of powerish pellets, but you control the action. It'll make sense in a minute. Um, also, real sound effects, real sound samples used uh, in the game. So there's a little bit of music in the game, and there's some real sound samples in the game. So let's get into that and check it out. So before we do, here is, uh, let's find the game, Mouse Trap, over in the right-hand corner. Let's look at the high scores for this game. So there's me with a couple of scores. It looks like it's not getting much love from the LaunchBox community. I've got a weekly and a monthly, and I'm all by my lonesome. The yearly score, I'm number two, 288,000 is number one. And then on the all-time, um, many of these scores going back a couple of years here, whenever they started collecting scores, uh, I'm number nine. I'm in the top 10 and almost number eight, Aquaman, it looks like. I need to take Aquaman down. Maybe I'll do that now. Who knows? Probably won't. I always get nervous when I have to do these nerves kick in. Let's play the game. Um, there is my top score in this emulator. So how does this game work? Well, I'm just going to throw a quarter in. Let's, let's do it. Okay. Exidy threw out the... I mean, a lot of their games um, are going to start off similarly in their text, their fonts. They all look similar. So uh, when I start the game, and of course, like always, I pause it a little bit. Just the whole way that your your um, mouse dances around, or some people thought this was a puppy dog, that it's, that you start off as a puppy dog, but you turn into a mean dog when you hit your button, which I'm cool with. I think that's kind of neat. But anyway, let's go with mouse for now. So the mouse swings around and dances just like a, a, the game Venture, which I will feature that one in the future. Um, so we're, we're landing in the maze and we have doors that are yellow, red, and blue. And I have three buttons. Now those are on my keyboard since I'm using a keyboard here, but I can exercise uh, the yellow ones with my Z and the red ones with uh, the X. I'm gonna have to hurry and get out of the way. I couldn't do it quick enough as I demoed it. My C button will do the blue. And then I have a mouse button. Now the mouse button, uh, or I'm sorry, the dog button allows me to turn into a dog and eat the cats. Now up there at the upper left is my score. I've got 90 points because I ate one little bite of cheese. These are little cheesy bites that you can eat. Um, and there's bone. So I've, every bone that I collect in the maze, and you get one to start, turns you into a dog. So we'll see if we can make that happen. Oh, geez. <laughs> I tried to go down. At least I thought I was going down. Here we go. So you get a few seconds before the uh, the cats get, get out. Um, and the biggest problem here is going to be remembering where you uh, 
where your buttons are, what colors go to what button. I just went into the center point of the maze where it says in, and when you do, you will randomly fly into a corner and you can just pick up from there. And I've got now a couple of bones. And you know, you're pretty safe while you're um, inside there. Now I gotta stop here for a second and tell you there's a hawk. Now, I don't know why a hawk, I, I get the idea that the hawk can take a mouse, but the hawk will kill you if you hit your dog button. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna hit my dog button. Okay, something happened there. I grabbed a big old chunk of cheese that gave me a thousand points. I got a cat. The hawk looks like it's gone, and, it, and it's pretty easy in the first maze. And you see me blink back and forth and turn into a, a mouse again. Okay, so I've trapped myself, so I'm kind of safe right now. Oh, I just got myself into a little bit of trouble. Boop. Okay, something that happened there. I magically bumped a bunch of doors, and then I went into the corner. Now, it says it makes the, the hawk dumb when you go in the corner. Let's see what the hawk does. The hawk just flies around randomly and then it goes to a corner, which in this case attacked me. So a dumb hawk doesn't mean that it's a hawk that can't get you. The hawk can still get you, so you gotta watch out for the hawk. So let's review. You're running around a maze, you're eating cheese, you're grabbing dog bones even though you're a mouse, but that allows you to transform or at least identify <laughs> as a dog, at which point you can go and eat the mice, I'm sorry, the cats, the cats. But the hawk can still get you, even if you're a dog. You got it? Three buttons control the doors, and one button turns you from a from a mouse into a dog. Let's do this. Let's do this again. Crazy. You're you know, you're worried the whole time about these stupid doors, honestly. And uh, I, I can't remember which buttons do what, so I, I tend to I mean, you're going to have to practice this game if you want to get good at it. That's all I'm going to tell you. Um, there we go. Now here comes the stupid hawk. He's not stupid yet. i got to move around. And, and you don't have to go into the center to make the hawk dumb or whatever they're saying about the hawk there. But it is helpful. And I just screwed up, so I'm going to become a dog. And I'm going to kill me some cats. Because it just seems like the right thing to do. Oh, there's the hawk. Watch out for the hawk. I'm gonna boom, go over here. That, that seemed to have worked. Now, all right, cool. Can't remember what button does what. I'm gonna get myself in trouble. Oh, geez. I became a dog real quick thinking I could munch a few cats and then get out of the way. Uh, but the, yeah, the paper clip isn't that important, but I do want that piece of cheese because cheese worth a lot of points. And, you know, I say it's not worth, it, it's not important, but the paperclip is worth a lot of points. You'll see at the end. It's all about the cheese, man. Can you get the cheese? There's another paperclip. Let's get the paperclip. Okay, let's become a dog. Let's, let's kill some cats. And let's try to, to get ourselves, oh, there's a key. Let's grab the key. Yeah, a lot of points there. And let's finish this maze. So, oh, there's an apple or something. Let me grab that thing. 1,800 points, dude. I feel like a rock star all of a sudden. Get out of there. Oh, crap. Seriously, I know that looked like I went for it, but I, I literally was just trying to hit the blue button or whatever button that is, you know, to uh, to open up the dang blue door. I got it that time. So see, if you get cheeses, you get 10,000 points. That's a lot of points. I was at 18,000, so I got one third, over one third of my points just then. Okay, so it's just rinse, repeat, and rinse, repeat, and rinse again. Watch out for the hawk. It does pause there for a minute, which is showing you you got a bonus mouse, which is always great. It's time to become a dog. Kill some stuff. I'll get this one over here. Watch out for the hawk. Oh, cool. And also watch out in your transition, your detransitioning back to a little mousy. Look how sweet the little mouse is. He's smiling. She's smiling. Whatever you are, smiling. Yeah, uh, this one is really about getting your rhythm down with these these buttons. Knowing what's what. I barely got that one in time. I'm ready for you, Hawk. I'm ready. Did I make you stupid? Oh, Hawk did go away that time. Oh, that cat jumped right out of the... 
yeah, you just really don't know when the cats are going to jump out there. Just jumped right out and, and uh, attacked me as a little mouse. So how did I do? Well, let's see. 39,000, I think it was. 39,500. Just good. Just good. Not, not good enough. I was really wanting to beat 53. One more time, we'll go for it. And let's see how bad it is. Usually when I do this, it's worse than it was before. <clears throat> yeah. Watch this. Oh, good. I was slow. Maybe if I'm more patient. That's always my problem, I've been told. Not patient. That's it. I'm eating. I'm eating some cat. Who doesn't want some cat? And then I got a hawk. This hawk's going to bind me in this corner if I'm not careful. Always whenever you see the hawk, it's not a bad idea to be ready to use your dog button so that you can just kick butts, kick, kick some cat butt, and uh, take names, you know what I mean? Okay, boom. Did I make the cat? No. The hawk's stupid. I guess I did. A little paperclip action. Now we have an open, what is that, a safety pin? I don't know what makes us safe. Let's do it. Let's eat some cat. Boom. Did I make him stupid? Go slow. Be patient. I just got one little bit to eat here. That's it. I got to be a dog again. I mean, I'm using a lot of bones here, but... And there's really not a tremendous amount of points, I don't think, in getting those cats. I think it's really used as a defense mechanism. If I'm going to be honest. Oh, let's get this key. It's worth a little dab. Oh, jeez. That stinking bird. So sick of that bird. Get away from the bird. There's my bonus mouse. Kind of playing a pretty good game so far. Um, I will get myself into trouble occasionally because I will... I'll get rambunctious with the buttons and I'll accidentally, and I don't mean to, um, I'll become... Uh, Oh, jeez. I'll become a, a dog. Look at that sucker relentlessly after me. Okay. Did he get stupid on me? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Let's see what this is. A pair of scissors. 2,400 points. Wow, that was a lot. Boom. Throw me to the right this time. Thank you. How about those pliers? Hmm? Who doesn't want a pair of pliers? I'll become a dog for this maneuver here. Oh! Jeez. I, you know, once in a while, um, you just stop thinking about... You know, stop, you just stop... Me, I stop thinking that, that I'm not invincible. That's another thing about this, right? You have to think. The hawk can kill you at any time. Um, yeah. So, and there's the hawk. Being the hawk. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What's my problem? Uh, the X key is the freaking red door. Bud? Yeah. I don't know that I'm going to last very long. But did I beat my old score? It looks like it. Yeah, there's, there's me being a dog. I think I'll just hang out there. Yeah! Oh, dude, I know I hit my dog button. I know I did. Didn't matter. The hawk was going to take me out anyways. Okay. I don't know how many dudes I have left. Probably not many. So let's make this count. Let's be a dog. Let's do it. Let's identify as a dog for a minute. Yup. And boom. Not where I wanted to go. Can I make you... Can I make the hawk dumb? Did I make him dumb? Oh, I know I hit that freaking dog button. Okay, one dude left, maybe. I think it might be my last. Can I clear this wave? I sure hope so. Let's be a dog. Because it just seems like the right thing to do. One more piece of cheese. Yellow. Boom. Man, I have stepped it up. I have stepped it up in my lame butt skill level at playing these arcade games, guys. Oh, dude. Honestly... I swear I hit the dog button. I was probably 250 milliseconds late there. Okay, I'm going to take that score, seeing as how I recorded myself demoing the game and actually did well. Hmm. 81,000. That's incredible. Now, 
you're all bearing witness to this. I'm going to hit the escape key. When I do, I'm going to go back to LaunchBox. Sometimes LaunchBox does not record the high score. And here I would have video evidence. Probably paranoid for nothing. Let's see. Well, it looks like it did an update. And voila. That's cool. Hey, I'm number two for the year. And number five all time. Wow. Okay, so what are you guys going to do? You see the game is obviously awesome. And it was one that I played as a kid. I liked it. It was stressful with the three buttons. I couldn't play it as long as Pac-Man or Miss Pac-Man or, or Time Pilot or stinking Galaxian or Galago or just another 40 games. But I still liked the game and I still had to take time to play this game. I liked it. It was fun. So I hope you will take the time and jump in and be a mouse for a while. And then hit that button and be proud to identify as a dog and go after those cats and eat them.